Welcome to this week's episode of Light the Wick. I'm your host, Corey McRae, and on today's show, we'll talk to officials working on the Wick Avenue construction project, check out a new exhibit at the Butler, and look into a new musical at the Youngstown Playhouse. This week, Light the Wick's Ashley Cusser caught up with Danny O'Connell, Director of Support Services, to discuss the construction on Wick Avenue. On Wick Avenue is nearing completion. Fortunately, Lincoln's done. Uh, Wick Avenue is progressing steadily. They're running into some issues is the bad news. It's slowing down some areas, but the good news is they're ahead of schedule. The construction on campus has caused some concerns for students and staff, but there is hope for the future. Last meeting we had with the city in Youngstown, they said there's a chance that we could finish in August, where we all know it was supposed to be finished more in October, November. Mm -hmm. So there's a good chance we'll be uh, up and running by the time fall semester starts. So we're really excited about that. Those affected by the closings have all come together to help the process go smoothly. Doing a lot with detour into traffic for the Butler and of course St. John's Church and, and the library and it's given us all a good opportunity to work together. <laughs> Some of, the, of us know each other casually and in the last couple of months we've become good friends because we're all working together. As construction continues, motorists are asked to continue following detours, slow down, pay attention to new traffic patterns, and be cautious when crossing the street. For Light the Wake, I'm Ashley Custer. O'Connell thinks it's important to remind students that this is a city-funded project with an outcome that will improve campus. The Butler Institute of American Arts is hosting an exhibit dedicated to the evolution of the guitar. The medieval to metal exhibit features 40 different pieces of the iconic instrument on loan from the National Guitar Museum, ranging from the Renaissance period to the modern age. The exhibit will also feature the famous Crossroads guitar and the ever-popular air guitar. Visitors also have the opportunity to sit down and play a couple guitars on loan from the Fender Guitar Company. The exhibit will remain on display until April 16th and admission is free. Transforming neighborhoods and changing lives, the Youngstown Neighborhood Development Corporation, also known as the YNDC, is a local organization that works alongside the Iron Roots Urban Farm Program to strategically revitalize neighborhoods throughout the city of Youngstown by renovating vacant homes and hosting events such as the Idora Neighborhood Farmers Market. You can easily find their local offices on Canfield Road by looking for their well-known greenhouses that provide low-priced vegetables. The Youngstown Playhouse put a twist on their usual scripted plays and musicals. These changes are bringing an entirely new crowd. Here's Nicolette Pizzuto with the story. I visited the Youngstown Playhouse where the recent show, Sondheim and Love, closed its curtains on the 12th. The show is a musical review, a new concept for one of the creators, James McClellan. And um, it was a concept that I came up with. Um, the director of the show, Donna Downey, then chose the material that would be included in it, the song list, and um, then I shaped that song list into a program that has some kind of continuity and flow to it. Um, I also spoke with Kate Polini, a sophomore from Cardinal Mooney, who wasn't expecting to take the stage. I was thrown in two weeks ago because a girl had to drop out and so they called me to see if I could replace her. And I, I've listened to Sondheim before but not like religiously so, and he's hard, <laughs> he's really hard. And so learning that in two weeks was a really exciting but crazy thing. <laughs> it turns out that the change of pace at the Playhouse has brought some new eyes and ears to the theater this weekend and the first weekend near capacity crowds so um, I think we are actually getting more people to come to the Playhouse now. Um, some people who stop in here say they haven't been here since they were children or have never been here and when we hear that we just want them to come back and back and back so I think we're developing um, a bigger customer base. Although some new crowds may be coming to the ticket box there are still some people who will always consider the theater home but I love coming back to the Playhouse. So this is like my first, like, kind of home theater. <laughs> Reporting from the Youngstown Playhouse, I'm Nicolette Pizzuto. If you have any stories for Light the Wick or would like Light the Wick to cover, check out our social media pages listed on the screen. That'll do it for this week's episode of Light the Wick. I'm Corey McRae. Have a great week, Youngstown.